What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. There's a new project car that's right behind you. And I cannot wait to reveal it to you guys. Finally back on the vlogs. I had to do a lot of house things. Been working a ton. But this car right here is about to get a complete transformation. If you guys are an OG and have watched the vlogs for a long time now, hopefully I don't wreck this. You'll know whose car this is. I'll give you a little hint. I've changed the bags on this about four times already. No, maybe that's a little too much. Two times already. Cause um, he rubbed through it and blew his airbag and didn't work after. But if you guys know what car it is and have been watching for a very long time, pause the video, comment down below whose car, and then you guys are in for a surprise this week. Let's get to it. Let's reveal the new project car and um, hope you guys enjoy the series here. You guys guessed it, it's Peter Prum's car. He just dropped it off. We're actually gonna be wrapping it. Let me tell you guys my schedule right now. This week, I was supposed to go to Vegas and this project wasn't supposed to start until after I came back from Seattle, which would be the 12th. But Vegas got canceled because Airbnb fucking canceled our rooms for no reason. And I have a five day weekend until Seattle which I'll be there on the 7th, I believe. So I might as well take on the project. We're gonna grind it out. We have five days to hopefully complete this whole thing. So I got a couple guys coming, Fu, Somi, Tommy, Grant. We're gonna come chill, hang out. And uh, we're gonna try to knock this thing out in five days. We didn't even finish the EK yet. <laughs> and we're gonna try to tackle this. So we'll see what happens. I'm excited to wrap again. Thank you, Peter, for trusting me with the wrap. First, prep the car, clean it, make sure no dust or nothing showing so the wrap looks clean on it. The color he picked for this thing is insane. Been a while since I held the camera up, vlogged, did some car things with the homies, so it's about to be good. I mean, I have my own garage now, so we can do whatever the freak we want over here without any neighbors for now. Just look at that. No neighbors around. Taking it apart just to wrap one fender next to this boy's hilt. <laughs> right, just clean all the edges, make sure there's no dirt. That way um, when we put the wrap down it won't, it won't peel off. You know, it should stick really well. Ready? <laughs>
Took a little break because it's so hot out. But I didn't vlog much because I was really, really into wrapping it. But we got the front fender done, the hood done, and also the other fender done. It's looking really clean, super sick color. Loving how it's coming out. So stoked to almost have it done. And right now I'm actually tackling the doors, um, take off the handles, and then lay it over. I could probably do this myself. Um, shout out to Fu for helping. Man, he's been a big help wrapping these three panels right here, so. I'm trying to knock out two doors tonight, and then two tomorrow, and then the quarters, and then should be all done within the next couple days. I just finished the door by myself and the door handle, and I've never been so proud of myself wrapping in my life. Check this out. Got the whole door, and I even got the door handle, dude. Look at that. Holy dude, this is so fun to wrap. I just took a little piece, had it on the door, laid it over, and just started rounding the edges and it came out so nice. Holy, one, two, three, four, four pieces done today. I'm beat, I'm gonna go sleep, and we're gonna hit it again in the morning. next door panel knocked out and when the other boys come we're gonna knock out this whole piece right here it's pretty big but yeah i love that espresso maker oh my god it's probably the best thing or best housewarming gift i've ever got you guys just saw a little bit of my house house tour is coming i promise i keep delaying it but just want like more furniture in there so that way it looks like a home when i actually give the house tour if that makes sense Currently um, 8 o'clock in the morning. Got some things you gotta do later on today, so that's why I woke up really early to work on this. So, but yeah, let's get to work. Damn, this looks good. <laughs> let's, let's get to work. So, on these uh, TLXs, the way to get the door handle off is you have to pop off the inner door panel. There's this little plastic piece right here. You just pop off, boom. Then there should be a little 10 millimeter bolt right in there. Right when you take that 10 off, this will come off. And then this, you just slide back and pull out. And it should come off. And then that way you can wrap all of this and not have to do an inlay on here. And it's just like a more cleaner way to wrap it, in my opinion. Because I've seen some where they cut a little slit, wrap inside, and then put an overlay. But I mean, I don't think that looks as clean as just taking a little extra time just to take the door handle off. I took the 10 millimeter out. It should just pop right out. Just like that. And then this pull out, slides right out. Super simple, really cool design. Now you have a whole door to work with to wrap it super clean. Make sure you take these uh, plastic things off. Yes, clean up the door and uh, get the wrap started. And yes, the homie cleaned 
and washed the car before he came here. So that's why you didn't see any details in the video if I get backlash or anything about, why'd you clean the car right before? It, it was clean. I've been doing a really bad job at recording, but I knocked out another door. It's looking so good. Wrapping has honestly been so relaxing and I love it. Like, I enjoy it a lot. Good morning again. I don't even know where I left you guys off at last time, but last night I knocked out two doors, which completes about seven panels on the car. I'm gonna finish the car up because I have this trim piece I gotta put behind here so that way we can tuck in the wrap. Loving the way it's coming out though. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is from Paradox Wrapping. I'm not sure what color it is but it is insane. Like once the light hits it, it's like a different shade of green. If you go over here, it's like more dark. It's pretty crazy. Pretty, pretty wild color. All this to get the freaking antenna out. How to pop all these uh, door handle, the holder things, take the headrest off and then just pop all the panels out just to get to the 16 millimeter bolt. Jeez. Just to get this freaking thing out. Stupid antenna. Got that. Now I can clean it, get ready to wrap the roof. I pull this little trim stuff off, tuck the wrap under here, make it a little easier. Yeah, that's gonna be my next piece to wrap. So guys, good morning again. I don't know when the last, what's the last like clip I did. But let me update you guys. I got a whole quarter pattern done. A door, another door, fender, hood. And actually I got the roof done as well. I mean, I've been grinding on this thing for the last couple days. But unfortunately, since I was wrapping by myself, I've been picking the panels that I could get to, which would be like the doors and stuff. And then I did this whole quarter panel last. Rookie mistake, I ran out of wrap. Because you're actually supposed to do this first and then cut out the piece for the door while you lay this quarter panel on because it goes all the way to the very front of the fender. So now I got this whole side pretty much completed and looked up. But now I'm out of wrap for the whole bumper or the whole quarter panel and the two bumpers. So that's a problem right there. Now you gotta order some wrap, wait for it to get here again, and then finish it. But I mean, it's looking amazing. I'm loving the color on this car. So great, great choice, Peter. Yeah, probably finish both the side skirts and then lay it down, call it a day. Probably hit the trunk too, because I just cleaned that. And boy, there was so much freaking um, double-sided tape on here that it was so hard to get the wing off. It was crazy. Well, I'm all done for the week. <laughs> I can't really do much now. We'll wait for the remaining wrap. Rookie, rookie mistake, but it is what it is. If you think about it, this is my, only my second time wrapping a car. But I'm so stoked how this trunk came out. I don't even know if I showed you guys yet, but damn, look at this trunk though. 
got the curves pretty good on this. This is all one piece, which is, I'm really proud of myself by doing it. Just one piece. Well, one piece, one piece. But, oh my gosh. Looks amazing. Looks prime. But, like I said, I'm gonna be in Seattle, so gonna be there for a bachelor party all week. Hopefully, I make it home alive. So, see how it goes. On that, thank you, thank you, thank you for sticking to the end of the video. I appreciate you guys. Um, if you guys can subscribe and uh, like the video, that'll boost up the channel so much just for the YouTube algorithm. Just try to make it out here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, see you guys later. Peace out. The homie Peter Prum's coming right now and he's about to pick up his car. It's not fully done yet, but he's gonna see it for the first time and we're gonna get his reaction. You ready for this? <laughs> you gotta come in? Are you ready for the reveal? Yes, I am. I'm excited. It's on this side. Damn. Is that the bumper? Oh, yeah, this has a bumper. Just yeah. What do you that think? Tight, man. What do you think so far? It's good, bro. Yeah. Oh, that's nasty, bro. 